what he made me believe about myself only comes from love. Because nobody else could make me see that about myself. Does J-Lo have a trick up her sleeve to fall in and out of love so quickly? You'd be shocked to know about what J-Lo's first husband, Ojani Noah, has revealed about her love life. Jennifer Lopez, our girl who loves to fall in love, once told a guy that he was the one and they were destined to be together forever. Sounds sweet, right? But that was back when she was only three husbands and five engagements deep. Fast forward and she's now clocked in four marriages and six engagements. Jen's journey to self-love was like a whole reality show in itself. She figured out she needed to love herself first before she could truly love anyone else. But let's try be real here. The real show was the drama with her man, her current guy, Ben Affleck, who's not exactly thrilled with all this public mess, is trying to support her as much as he he can. But the truth is, no one can stop Jen from doing what she does best, making music. It's all part of the Jennifer Lopez package. But the gossip columns have been buzzing with news about J. Lo and her possible divorce from Ben Affleck. Well, let's just say that Ben is not exactly thrilled about being the muse for her love drama. Imagine being the inspiration behind a heartbreak album. Yikes. But hey, Jen's an artist and she's got to do what she does best even if it means putting her love life on blast. It's no wonder that real artists draw attention from their messy experiences. But Ben Affleck and J. Lo once seemed like the perfect couple. So what possible reason could make them head to Splitsville? This is where Jennifer Lopez's first husband, Ojani Noah, spills the tea. Now let's talk about Ojani. Who is he and how did he end up marrying J. Lo? The whirlwind romance between J. Lo and Ojani started in the 90s when he was a waiter at Gloria Estefan's Miami Beach spot. They tied the knot with in a year and were married from February 1997 to January 1998, but called it quits just as fast thanks to J. Lo's skyrocketing fame. Apparently on their wedding night, J. Lo promised Noah they'd be together forever, but that forever lasted less than a year. Noah later blamed the breakup on parasites who feed off celebrities. Recently on a TV show from last year, Ojani explained that he told her to keep the ring because he didn't want those memories to haunt him. He knew he'd miss her so much if he held on to those things. Fast forward to now, Ojani's moved on as an entrepreneur, model, actor, and even launched an OnlyFans account. But he hasn't forgotten J. Lo. He even shared his thoughts on her current marriage to Ben Affleck, saying he was husband number one and he's not sure this is going to be the last either. So now that his words are coming true, Ojani is back to spill more tea. Curious to know what tea he's got in store for us? He is out here claiming that J. Lo's one true love has always been, well, herself. But before you jump to conclusions, you've got to admit, he might be onto something, right? When you look at the wild ride that is her love life, Ojani's point starts to make a lot more sense. Ojani even threw some major shade at Jen and Affleck's reunion in 2021, saying it was doomed from the start. People dismissed him as just another salty ex. It's starting to look like he might have called it right from the beginning. But J-Lo, she wasn't exactly low-key about it. Their wedding was a full-on circus, with even people getting arrested trying to sneak in. Years later, during her It's My Party tour, J-Lo casually dropped a bomb about her first two marriages, claiming she doesn't really count them because they were so short-lived. In a candid video, J. Lo reflected on those early relationships, admitting that she was very young and probably more focused on the idea of marriage than the reality of it. From J. Lo's side, the reason she got married back then was that she thought of it as a solution to her loneliness. She hinted that back then, being surrounded by people yet feeling lonely led her to believe that getting married would solve everything. But as she now realizes, that was far from the truth. Marriage for the sake of companionship, she said, was a mistake. Instead, she 
shared that the right reason to marry is when you find someone who truly makes you a better person. So while Chris was licking his wounds, Jen quickly moved on to Mark Anthony, husband number three. They had a son named Max and a daughter named Emmy, but not even kids could save that marriage. Jen had an anxiety attack on set one day and realized she couldn't stay with Mark anymore. They divorced, but not before sparking rumors that Jen was a home wrecker. Mark had just finalized his divorce a week before marrying Jen after all. Even after J-Lo and Mark broke up, it seemed like these two kept things pretty friendly. They performed together and even shared a kiss at the 2016 Latin Grammy Awards, just two years after their divorce was finalized. But J-Lo did not stay single for long. Enter Casper Smart, a backup dancer 18 years younger than Jen. They met while filming a music video and sparks flew, for a while anyway. Their romance lasted a couple of years before Jen crossed paths with Alex Rod, the former Yankee star. Alex Rod claimed meeting Jen was the luckiest day of his life. After years of dating, Alex proposed to Jen with a massive diamond ring, but they kept postponing the wedding, blaming the pandemic. And then, just like that, it was over. Jen wasted no time reconnecting with Ben Affleck, and Alex Rod, he was left picking up the pieces, reportedly convinced that Jen was cheating on him with Ben while they were still together. Which brings us to Jen. J-Lo's latest marriage with Ben Affleck. So, Ben and J-Lo have had quite the riot together. They first met back in 02 while filming Giggly, and their romance led to an engagement that same year. But the media frenzy got to them, and they postponed their wedding in 2003, eventually calling it quits in 04. J-Lo has even once mentioned that their split was her first big heartbreak. After their breakup, they moved on, Ben with Jennifer Garner and Jen with Mark Anthony. They had kids, lived their lives, and then boom, in 2021, they reconnected and even got married. But as you know by now, even this marriage is not going smoothly for J-Lo. Now, Alex Rod is supposedly enjoying watching the rumored cracks in Jen and Ben's relationship. He's not the only one though. Ojani Noah is also having his I told you so moment, reminding everyone that Jen once told him he was her forever too, just like she told every other guy. One thing's for sure, in the world of Jennifer Lopez, the drama never ends. So what's the real story here? Is Jen just addicted to the idea of love? Or is there something creepy going on? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more latest celebrity gossip.